Everybody loves snippets in Raycast. I use them all the time. And here's one I created to kindly reject partnership offers. The thing is though, you can't really have the emoji picker and the snippet editor open at the same time. Well, actually, there is a way you can do that. If you type in colon, Raycast will show you an inline emoji picker. That means that you can use your emoji picker, including your pinned emojis from anywhere within Raycast. Raycast has a lot of little hidden features that allows you to customize your experience and improve your workflow. So in this video, I'm going to go over a bunch of them. An alias is like a nickname for your favorite command. Now, one thing that you might not know is that when you type in your alias in your Raycast search box, you can press the space key to automatically activate that command and even jump straight to the first argument box if there is one. So here's an example. I have an alias for my define word command. So when I type in DF and hit the space bar, notice how that command is already activated. And then I can just search for the word that I need the definition for. Another example is this alias I have for a custom quick link that allows me to search all of my tweets. And notice how this quick link has an argument box. So if I type in SX for search tweets and press space, notice how the first argument field is automatically focused. Whenever there is an entry in your clipboard history that you find yourself using all the time, you can actually convert it to a snippet directly from the clipboard history. All you have to do is select the entry, press Command K, and then search for Save as Snippet, or Command S for the shortcut. The reason you do that is that if you find yourself often copying the same thing over and over again, it probably means that you could benefit from making it a snippet. So keep an eye on your clipboard history and give that a go if you think you need to. Just like the clipboard history, you can also save emojis and symbols as snippets directly from the emoji picker command. So just find the emoji that you're after, press command K, save a snippet, and then just add the keyword of your choice. If you rely on clipboard history a lot, you might be aware that you can keep some of these entries for up to three months. Now, if you're a pro subscriber, you can actually keep them forever. But if you keep a history for that long, you might want to keep some sensitive information out of there. So if you go to the clipboard history settings, you can disable some apps from writing entries to the clipboard history. This is just a setting that gives you more control of your experience. And typically, you might want to do that for apps such as password managers, but you can add any app in there. This next little hidden secret I learned from Mariana, who was one of our guests in the What's In My Raycast series. So if you haven't watched that, then uh, give it a watch because she shares how she uses Raycast. This is something that I've started using recently, but it's the idea that when you're in an AI chat, you can press the up arrow to go back to your previous prompt. So this is useful if you are going back and forth with AI and you just want to tweak your prompt slightly. So by pressing the up arrow, you don't need to rewrite the whole prompt over and over again. You can just get that prompt back, make your edits and send it again. The search menu items command is something that I've only just learned a few months ago from Bruno. And since then I'm using it all the time. Basically, it's a built-in command that allows you to search for all of the menu items across the active app. I find this especially useful for large, complex apps such as Final Cut Pro or in the case of Bruno, DaVinci Resolve. The search screenshots command is probably one of the few commands that I use every day. Basically, it's a command that shows all of the images and videos in specific folders. Now, the cool thing about this command is it doesn't necessarily have to be screenshots because you can decide which folders you want Raycast to look into. Then you can just assign whatever folders you want. In my case, I have the desktop, I have the downloads folder, and I also have the clingshot folder because that's the app I use to take screenshots. I've got a hotkey assigned to this, which is command shift S. 
using that i get all of the images and videos that i've taken or that have been downloaded to the downloads folder for example and it's a super quick way to access them keep in mind that this also supports ocr so you can actually search by the text that's in the image this is super useful I love window management. That is the command that I use the most. But there are so many commands and options that I'm always learning something new. So here are the last two things that I've learned that I found really helpful. You can turn off the center window preference on or off for all of the move commands. So when I move my window to the left or to the right, then the window is no longer being centered as well. This is great. And since turning this off, I find myself using this move command way more often. And the next one is the restore command. So whenever you use the window management to move a window or manipulate a window, you can always go back to the previous positioning by using the restore command. So these are my top nine little Raycast tricks. If you've got any they have not mentioned, then drop them in the comment below and subscribe to our channel. We're posting videos every week. And finally, check out this playlist, which is a new series that we're doing called Extension Picks, where we get the best extensions for certain groups of people.